Rihanna says, are wedding expenses to be divided by both groom's and bride's family or only by the groom's family? My father has no problem in spending half the amount of the walima, but the groom's family say that usually nikah expenses are done by the bride's family and the walima expenses by the groom's family. What is your advice, Sheikh? Because in the subcontinent, we have nikah on the day and the walima the next day. First of all, the walima is usually done after the marriage has been consummated. Whether you do it on the same night or the night before, it's not a problem. You can do it either way you wish. The walima in Islam is the sole responsibility of the groom. And by the way, everything related to the marriage financially is the responsibility of the groom. So it's the boy who pays the dowry or the mahar, not the other way around. Women and their families are prohibited from giving the boy anything as a dowry, like in the subcontinent, because this is the doing of the Hindus. Muslims don't do that. Women are more honorable to be forced to pay for their marriage. We honor women. We don't accept this. In Islam, it's haram. It's prohibited. So it's the boy who gives the mahar, the dowry. It's the boy who also pays for the walima. Now, this is Islamic in the sense that I want to get married. I propose. I give the mahar. I get married. And I throw a small party. The Prophet, when he saw Abdul Rahman ibn Awf, may Allah be pleased with him, and he looked fresh. So he said, why do you look so fresh? He said, I just got married. He said, okay, in this case, throw a walima even by one sheep. So he did not tell him to hire a hole in a fancy, expensive hotel. Rather, the minimum would be a sheep, and it can be less than that. The concept is to gather few Muslims to feast, celebrate, and eat. That's it. Now, people have forced themselves into customs that are not part of Islam. Like Rihanna says, that they insist that the walima is to be done by the groom and the wedding party to be done by the girl's family. And this is nothing related to Islam. Yes, in most Arab countries, in my country, they have what is known as milka. And this is the marriage contract. The marriage is not consummated, only the writing of the marriage contract. And they throw a party. Then we have the wedding night where the marriage would be consummated and the girl would move into her husband's house. And this is, they claim that the woman has to pay for this. But this is not part of Islam. This is cultural. So as Muslims, we cannot burden the girl's family to make a wedding. Now you as a groom, you have to throw the walima. He said, Sheikh, I did that already. I had the marriage contract. I threw the walima and I invited my relatives and my loved ones. And from the girl's family, we got like five or ten people. Khalas, alhamdulillah. It's done. Yeah, but the wedding night. The wedding night. You want a wedding night? Your family wants a wedding? You throw a wedding. You can't ask the girl's family to throw a wedding that would consume five times the mahar, the dowry that you had paid. Be a man and don't ask for something that is not yours. So you want a mahar? Oh, no problem. You want a, a, um, a wedding night? No problem. But 
If you want to reach an agreement, for example, most people would say, yeah, we would like to have a wedding night for our daughter, but we would like to have it small and only for like 50 or 40 members of our family. And we may invite five or 10 from the groom's family. Now, if the groom's family say, no, we would like to invite more of our people, tell you what, we'll share the expenses. We'll pay half of it. We'll pay 30%, 70%. Depends on the agreement, the mutual agreement between the two families without one being forced to do something he does not want and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.